right, so let me show you Afterburner Climax first. And as you can see here, I've got my joystick right here. And it's wired up on the side over here to play. I also have my um, Super Gun controller still hooked up because I can use the additional buttons like Coin and Start and a lot of other buttons that you just don't fit on the controller because it's got a limited number of buttons. Um, as you can see, I've used on those loops I showed you, that red wire here. So I had to change on my prototype the analog uh, the third analog device was set up on the fourth wire so I've had to change that on the final version um, that'll be fixed so you can just plug it directly in and play if you want if I do a development of this so here we are after burner climax is playing right there so I'm gonna hit start on my super gun controller And I'll show you. I can change my aircraft, select it. And I got my left and right, and I got my throttle down here on the side. Right there. So I'm just kind of come forward here and kind of hopefully you can see me playing in the background. So the trigger. The trigger is my gun. This right here is a missile, so once I lock on, I can shoot a missile. And this is the climax button up here. If I hold this button down, it will select all those. I let go and it fires all the missiles. And I can go right here, I can slow down and speed up and go into climax mode using my throttle right here. And that's basically a racing, uh, flying game playing right there. How that works. All right, next I'm going to show you some Virtua Fighter 5 action with the Lindbergh. And like I see in the Player One port, I have my Supernova stick hooked up. And on Player Two side, I have Undam's uh, USB decoder hooked up with the PlayStation or Xbox 360 controller already plugged in there. Um, the thing I, that's really cool about his encoder or decoder is that you can use it to actually map the buttons out on your controller yourself. If you want to change the buttons, it's designed where you can um, you can automatically remap the buttons on the controller and it keeps track of that, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me show you here. A Virtual Fighter 5. This is hooked up for player two. I've already got controls in there. And you see if I hit start, I hit start, it can start the game. I can choose my controller, my, my player, using the controls. He lets you use this analog stick here or the button there, and you have all your buttons mapped here. One, two, and three. It's your three buttons for a Virtua Fighter. So I'm just going to play a little bit. I'll let you watch the screen. show you this actually. I can see I got my controller here so start start works on this too and I can control I can pick my character so you see that it's working with this properly also and it uses the top three buttons these are the three buttons for it also. Alright I'm gonna use the 360 controller and just hit some buttons and shit. Disconnect this. Ready? 
go ahead and show you this one. Have it out here. I don't know if it would be kind of hard to see if in the light like that. But he has all of. I don't know if I can see. See if I can get it easier to read. It has terminal blocks, so you have each wire hooked to each individual button, like that says. Um, Test, kick four, three, two, one, turn it over, punch one, punch two, punch three. Um, and on this side you have um, like the home button, start button, select, um, right, left, up, down. Um, five volts and grounds over here. I basically just took them into a DV25 connector. So they're using the wall stog standard, what I call it, it's wired in there. And so when this plugs right in, um, I automatically have those buttons mapped. It's a pretty cool thing. Now one thing I like using about the DB25 system um, is that you can easily find DB25 like serial um, printer cables on eBay to do certain things. Like here I'm splitting it. And what I'm doing is I have my gun hooked up to one end here. And there's only a trigger and a basically missile button on uh, the guns. It's only two buttons. So I would need to have like all these other buttons, a coin and start button on a different controller. So I have the I have the supernova controller hooked up to the other side. So I have two controllers hooked up to one port so I can make sure I have all the buttons I need. Alright, give me a second, I'm gonna show you me playing some Rambo. This time it's up to you. All right, so here we are. I got Rambo loaded up, and I'm gonna sit at my gun table here. Um, I got the, the gun mounted to a table so it can be steady. And I'm gonna play a little bit so you can see. So now I've got it hooked up to my Naomi 2. It's kind of hard to see, but I have it mounted to that board there. Power supply, the blue thing is the motherboard. And I have it hooked up to that right there. But I have the video and the sound still running through my Super Gun and the Capcom IO. So it's set up there. I got my, it's hooked up to my Mass System Supernova controller right there. All right, so I'm gonna play a little bit of this. right back. And also, just so I can show you that this controller is working using the Naomi also. I'm the controlling player too. He's already got these buttons mapped because of the way I have it set up for buttons 3 through 6. Alright, so here you can see I'm using my helper PCB with the Capcom I.O. for the Naomi. I've got it hooked up right now. I'm still using the Capcom I.O. for the sound and the video. I'm also, you also have to use it for the digital inputs like your buttons, and not your start button, all that good stuff. Um, I'm not using the power. I have it, the wire hooked up, but it's not hooked up to the board because I'm using an external power supply, which really, if you're using Naomi, you should use an external power supply and not rely on the power coming out of the Capcom IO anyway. And then I've also got this connected via the 26 pin cable to the analog port on my PCB and into the back of the Capcom IO. And I know most people have never used that port, um, but when you use my PCB, 
you can play racing games such like that with um, the Naomi. Um, some games on Naomi use a, require a higher revision of the I.O. and the Capcom one won't work with those games. In that case you could just use one of the other standard JVS I.O.s. But for this example, I'm going to show you. I've got the, like as I said, I've got the ribbon cable connected to my PCB and I've got this connected right here, that connector, to my wheel. And as you can see, the wheel is getting power. It's 5 volts from the Capcom I.O. Those are the, you might recognize that wheel from my other, one of my other videos where I added the, the sequencer so that the LEDs would light up, make it look kind of cool. All right, so let me kind of demonstrate for you. Turn the TV on, and I will show you. I am going to demonstrate Crazy Taxi. Hey, hey, come on over, have some fun with Crazy Taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back this up a little bit. I want you to be able to see me doing this. Right. Now, like I said, you still have to use the start button and your coin switch and stuff like that if you're using like a super gun or whatever, like I am, or the cabinet buttons, you still have to do that with Capcom IO. So I'm going to add coins with my controller and hit start. But from now on, I can use my controller to switch character. Gina, let's play cool. Hey, hey, hey. I'll just demonstrate for a little bit. Here we go. Try to do this with one hand. So I to set it down. There you see it works with that. That's how it does. Alright, so I guess I'm going to do this short little section here just showing you it working with the Revision 2 I.O. Which you see I had it hooked up there. Power and everything's hooked up to my Lindbergh setup. Uh, power connector here. Down to there. And my JBS I.O. Cable right there. Um, I have the 40 pin. Connected into the top slot that you see there. 40 pin on the Revision 2 IO and then the 26 pin coming over to the normal spot. And I have it hooked up to my racing wheel. So let me just show you playing some a little bit. Sit, Kishi. Sit. Good dog.